Hi Pisces, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Pisces with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Pisces, your cards are falling all over the place. You may have met somebody new. Um, you fantasize about somebody new, but you're in a relationship. You think about sacrificing or just having a, a hidden secret sexual connection. All right. Um, or that's, yeah. Okay. So one card for love for Pisces. We get the eight of pentacles. So maybe you've, you've given chance over and over again, or you're trying, or you're putting in a lot of energy, a lot of effort, a lot of time. Um, you're molding, you're um, helping with, um, you're being prudent. You're just waiting for, um, this to get to a place where it just works um or or you have given chance after chance and you're looking at this person like you know should i give you another chance or this is what they're doing in regards to you this could be a cyclical relationship one that's in and out hot and cold off and on um up and down roller coaster in a connection here um it could have started as sex you know, then it, it turned out and to be more and you guys put the work into it. This is wondering if you should give something another chance or a try. Let's see what's going on in career and finance, career finance. Oh, the eight of swords, you get two eights here. 88 could be significant for you. Um, you have a lot of options. Maybe in love, you could have good news in career and finance. Uh, situation you feel like you're at a you're stuck or in a stuck place or you want to get out of something or there's not an enjoyment or fulfillment in what you do uh there's no creation involved in it you could do it blindly with your eyes closed um you've kind of got burnt out on it whatever it may be um you just feel like you're in a dead end position it could even provide you with money let's see um so we've got beauty showing up okay so you could be staying with somebody because they are handsome or beautiful or this is how they feel about you and um, there's a lot of lies manipulation between the two of you there is love here or there was love but somebody feels like it's hell now h-e double l in this relationship somebody's coming into a spiritual awakening in regards to maybe wanting to start something new newborn baby baby coming out somebody could be pregnant or they could want a baby or want to be in a relationship that's going to offer newness here this also could be a dog or um, a fur baby in regards to maybe this is what's holding someone you and somebody else together somebody wants the agony of this relationship to stop um, home you could share home together or you did or somebody feels like you are home um, or the relationship you know is a safe place for them they could be sending you a message soon. Are you sending them one? Um, they could be saying, I miss you. Okay. Um, especially if you're away. This could even be somebody outside of the relationship saying that I miss you. This could be somebody that you're looking at from the past. And it could be, I miss you. This also could be um, somebody that you've given chance to over and over. They could be saying, I miss you. They want you back. This is somebody who's got you in some cycle. Nothing is changing. You guys are not going in a linear position where things are going up or you're not even going backwards. You're just kind of going in a roundabout. It's the same old, same old between you and someone else. Okay. Nothing is changing. Somebody feels like they're stuck also in limbo in terms of their career, finance. Money could be good. It could be promising. Um, good news surrounding it but somebody just feels like lack of creativity lack of starting something there's no magic uh in what they do there's no mystery or there's no you know um no whole big um maybe you don't have to use your mentor or something of that nature um, there could be somebody taking care of somebody who's in jail also or stuck or, or feeling like somebody is stuck with them financially because they can't be alone or they can't do it on their own. Um, somebody is still in the learning phase. So somebody could feel stuck 
in terms of their career and finance because of another party. Um, the air of being good nature when good nature goes wrong. So this is like me being a good person, a good Samaritan saying, oh, yes, you can come live with me. Person comes to live with me. We're three months in. Do you have enough money to save to get out on your own? No, I don't. OK, we're six months in. Do you have enough money? Do you even make enough? OK, and you don't even make enough money. OK, so the air of me being good natured saying, yes, come live. It's got me to a place of where I can't get this person out. So the eight of swords here um that's what it talks about so and this is it could be in love too you know but this is career and finance right so somebody lingering holding on to you because they can't make it on their own um, somebody may have even promised you family i think you had ring out here too they had giving you a ring there's so many lies here you may get a message oh i miss you Oh, this from a, per a past person. I see you just happy in life. This is what I have for you, Pisces. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you. Down in the comment section, go over to the website and book your reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Get your own personal reading. Readings are 40% off. Take advantage now. Use code 40 off at checkout. Catch me live. I think I said every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Pisces. Take care. Have a really good week.